My name is Denise Schick. I am an author and the founder and director of the ministry called Help for Families. When I was nine years old, my father had shared with me a secret, and that secret uh, was that he wanted to become a woman. I didn't realize at that moment what that would entail in my own life and how his struggle would soon impact me. By the time I started to mature as a young woman, he had sexually molested me and I became even further confused. By the age of 13, I started to seek out other relationships. I needed the affirmation of having a man love me, which of course led me into the wrong path many times. By the time I was in seventh grade, I recall having 13 boyfriends. I was so in need of being fulfilled as somebody recognizing me as a girl and loving me, everything that I did not get from my own father. The struggles continued to intensify at home as my father also had a peak hole in our bathroom. It became very uncomfortable to say, I am a girl and this is who I am, to be comfortable in that skin. The enviness and the jealousy that existed in the home became very intense with my dad and I. He had started to wear my clothing as I started to grow older. I was so empty inside and seeking uh, the love and the attention of a father and I couldn't find that. Right about that time where I thought, is life worth going on for? You know, is there possibly a better life if, if my life was to end and I could end this pain? When I was uh, 15 years old, I started to date a young man named Mark, who's now my husband. And when I first met Mark, he seemed so different. Uh, he respected me. It wasn't like he was out for sex. Uh, he wasn't out to just use me. Uh, he wanted to get to know who I was as a person inside. During this time, Mark had finally said to me, I want to know why you're so distant with your father. And I thought, how can I tell him? He's going to leave me. And Mark had finally come to the point where he said, I need to know and I need to know now. And that was the toughest thing as we sat in the school parking lot. And as I'm telling him, you know, my father had told me when I was nine years old that this is what he struggled with and this is what he does. She just looked at me and gave me a hug. He didn't get out of that Jeep or say, I'm taking you home, I'm, I don't want to see you anymore. Mark continued to teach me by coming back into our home and